In this video, I'm going to attempt to cut my hair. I've been on TikTok. Ooh, I gotta get a brush. I feel like this is a bad idea. I'm not paying $50 for that mirror when this one was 20 and it just didn't have a hook. Cause I have a hook. So. YouTube, I'm just leaving the gym, but I'm adding this into my blog because I forgot to record this part, but I joined the men's league, right? And I have clips from the first game and the game from last night. So let me go ahead and add that in of me getting buckets right now. I'm making a montage right now. And that montage starts here, go. Post game interview. Good I had job, babe. You did so good. Twelve, thirteen. Oh, don't little, 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 little baby dunk. Little, little, little baby dunk. You did so good. You know, we, we, we played a good game. Coach, you know, he was subbing real, real well. You know, no bucket. No bucket. <laughs> but I'm getting all the buckets. Right, you ready? I'm ready to go. I'm ready. This is me actively, wholeheartedly dedicating time to um, vlog. So I just got off a 12 hour shift. Oh, let me hide my badge. Um, just got off a 12 hour shift and I'm off tomorrow or tonight, going back to work tomorrow. How do I look? I've been cutting my own hair too. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit more of that later on, but it looked pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. For this to be a self cut, this side need a little help, but this side right here, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with it. Calling you Atkins. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, that, man. Nah. Bree's getting a new car. Bree is getting a new car. She's trying to figure out what she wants to buy now. Um, I just got my Chick fil A. Y'all know I love Chick fil A. Um, and I'm excited to see what car she ends up getting. Um, she's not going to probably, she's probably, I don't know. She's probably not gonna get a new car today, but the fact that she's even looking is a big deal for her. It's electric. <clears throat> her car is electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. But uh, she's ready to get rid of it. I don't blame her, because the gas is terrible. She always say, oh, you have you know, triple the, the gas mileage that I have. And I'm like, yes, I do, because it's horrible what she has going on with, with her Jeep. Literally, we drove it from St. Louis to Charlotte and had to stop at least every two hours. She'll tell you I'm lying, but I promise you I'm telling the truth with that. Her car is terrible on miles, uh, gas mileage, which I, which is why I want her to get something else. It only makes sense. But I'll try to record a little bit of that. Um, I'm heading there right now. After getting off 12 hour shift, I am tired, but she needs me. She needs my perspective and my thoughts on what she's, you know, looking into getting. So, um, I didn't know Toyota was even something that she wanted to get because we've been looking at Volkswagen and um, Audis and even a, like a used Benz. But I'm like, mate, this is gonna be crazy. You know, Toyota Honda would be the best bet to go. The only Toyota car I know is like a Rav Four. Honda has a lot of good options too, but I think Toyota has better trucks. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just saying, Toyota has better trucks. But I think a Honda SUVs is like a van, you know what I mean? Nothing nice, but I'll keep y'all posted on what is going on 
and we vlogging again so let the vlogs roll <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> I don't know my stomach. <laughs> We made it to the mountains, YouTube. We made it to the mountains. You see the mountains behind me? The behind me, behind me, behind me. So we're in the mountain at Breeze, the grandmother house. And uh, I have more for the vlog for y'all tomorrow, but I'm kind of tired today. So that's why I don't have anything for y'all today. But. YouTube. This is a tour of the Airbnb. Nice little outdoor lighting. Living room. It's pretty peaceful. We're going to be here for the next three days. <clears throat> living room. Nice little living room. Bunch of stuff to do. <clears throat> that Indian food has me full. Kitchen. Nice kitchen. Decent backsplash. Backyard. Let me show you something cool about the backyard. The backyard has bamboo all along the back. You can't really see it, but it's there. Backyard. That thing is locked. Everything looks brand new in here. Everything looks brand new. I'll check the painting. Say it again. I'll check the painting. Cool. Kitchen. I mean, not kitchen. Bathroom. And then we got our room. Look up, mama. Y'all, Bree's moving in, if you can't tell. I don't know why she do this, but she does it. Hunger Games. No, I'm sorry, let me get into it. Hey, 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 hey. I can't do it. I cannot believe I just left a coffee shop and didn't get any any videos, any content. Share hater, y'all, share hater. Don't subscribe to her YouTube. Actually, since she want to be a hater. Can't be a hater your whole life, baby. Um, I just left the coffee shop. <clears throat> and I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm in the middle of nowhere. We must stay You're focused. You're driving. This we, is bad. We must this stay bad. YouTube. You're not even paying attention. My YouTube family. My oh YouTube my God, family. you're about to crash. My YouTube family. We must stay focused. They Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. The haters are always going to want to hate. They're always going to want to take us off path. I had to get this this content for you guys. She's a hater. She's been a hater her whole life. You can't really, you know, listen to the haters. You gotta you gotta stay on task. You gotta stay focused. But um, we're going to get food with her family in a little bit. Have to. It's my grandmother's birthday, and yeah. we just celebrated my grandfather's celebration of life. Yep, that was yesterday. I didn't get any content for that as well. I want to. I got some. Uh, I'm probably not gonna add it. I want to show respect to those who are not with us anymore and i feel I mean, like i just got a quick snippet yeah i don't know y'all might get that but um add it on to Why the vlog like that i don't know what's wrong with y'all friend Why today being like that? i don't know what's wrong with y'all friend today but I'm she is on one like 
Yeah. What have I done? You've been so mean to me all day. You're being rough with me. Emotional damage. Yeah, you're causing me emotional damage. I haven't done anything to you. 5,000 plus subscribers? Woo! 120. I have a. We are currently going to run errands, getting some stuff for friends given on Tuesday. We got to drive to Charlotte. Um, yesterday was lit. Went to uh, a close friend's little sister's probate last night. She crossed, aka Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And um, yeah, it was a good time. Now, look at y'all friend. Let's see what we end up getting from the store. I'm gonna just ride on the car like this. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Get in the car. Let's go. Say bye, YouTube. Follow me at Rewinding Time RN. Subscribe. Subscribe. Not Never. follow. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. He can just link it here. So YouTube, look who made it. Look who made it to the vlog. Go ahead, Ma. Tell them what you what you're doing. I'm making my Nana's famous candy yams. We got the candy yams. We have the first you ground them in olive oil. We already passed that step a little bit just to get some color on them. Then you add some butter. You add some margarine. The nutmeg. Mm -hmm. The cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Some brown sugar. Uh huh. Uh, some vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let them simmer in their own juices until they tender and delicious. Yep. I'm supposed to be cooking it, but she and is. You ain't doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Nothing at all. Y'all look what Brie did to me. Abuse. Here she is right here. Mom, when you move, can I, can I get this TV? No. Explain to me what's going on here. I have my new tough army jacket on. She cute, right? Yeah. Is it not what y'all say? That's tough. That's tough. That? That's tough. That's tough. Let me see. You gotta flip the collar a little bit. You could. you could do it like this. Yeah. You can do a half up like this. Yeah. You can do it all the way down like that. That's fly, She's Bonnie. Cute, right? Yeah, yeah. You tough. Yeah. Flashy, fashionista, all that. How's it look? Good. Chest, arms, arms, chest. Look at that. Happy Friendsgiving! We're going to eat. Are y'all doing pajama soup or not? Uh, told you, she told me late. Okay, yeah. She told me. I told well, we, we got matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas. Ooh. It's Friendsgiving. And we're having a blast. We just got here, but two fifty. We don't care. We're talking about Friendsgiving. We're at Friendsgiving. Let's just cut him out. We're at Friendsgiving. Forget it. Y'all in the vlog again. <laughs> Lit. Let me just get all over there. Well, uh, what did the kid say? 
Oh, um, you, 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 you saw what I sent you, right? I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> Shot o'clock. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Good morning. Let me phone there. Good morning. Oh my God, that's such a good stretch. <laughs> mm. We had a great night. So we're going to work out. Let's go work out. Going to work out. Let's go. He said, boy, stop. Finished our workout, got our favorite smoothies. My favorite Jada. smoothie. Got my favorite smoothie. I feel worked. It looks good. I do. Hold on. They go away. You got to fuck it up. Let's. Well, we've just been having a time. We haven't done much, but it's been a good day. Where's Cheryl? No, then they go. Tara said hi. Happy Thanksgiving. Something. Ready, Mom? Yeah. We toasted it. New beginnings. New beginnings. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh! Yeah. That would get you right. <laughs> <laughs> that would get you in the throat. Early morning. To the gym we go. So I'm always recording, you know, never in the spot that I have in my house to record. It's always on a, the walk, the run, in the car. It doesn't really matter. That's typically why I'm always just out somewhere. But it's because I'm always on the run. I'm always doing something. I'm always traveling somewhere. I'm always either at work, at school. And that's really why. So, you know. Hopefully we get some more sit down videos of me actually in my sit down area. But until then, we stuck with this and I'm walking to my car right now. So hold on. This is Old Faithful, guys. Her name is Yolanda and she thick. I just want y'all to know that. Yo, this one is for my vlog. Um, it's 9.50 right now. I'm going to the gym. I'm getting this lift in. I'm gonna try to bring y'all with me on this lift. Lift, And it's probably the end of the vlog that I'm editing right now because I figured oh, I need a little bit of razzle dazzle, a little bit of razzle dazzle. So I'll add it to the uh, vlog that I have right now. But I wanna tell y'all a story about last night. Last night, I'm in a men's league. I have some clips from it. I did not realize how rigged this league is about to be. So it's a city league, um, rec league. And basically, you know, we have a team of eight people, you know? All of us are young, younger than 30, about. We hooping, you know, we got a good squad, you know? I'm 6'5", I want another player is like 6'5". We got about three players around 6'5", 6'6". Um, we got a good amount of guards, like, we got a good squad. And the first team we blew out, it's like 100 and some points. I'll add, add that to the clips earlier. I think Bree recorded it. But last night, you know, was the first game of the season. So we have refs. And these refs was called. I got. I fouled out to let y'all know how this game went. I fouled out, and I was killing. I'm a. I'm a starter. I'm a starter, but I was getting buckets. And 
they did everything in their power to help the other team. Other team had a coach. You know, this is a little rec league. Why do you have a coach? I don't know. But um, they had a coach. And, you know, we getting buckets. We, we really doing well. We staying in the game. Then they start stretching it out a little bit. But the only reason I feel like they stretched it out was because they started winning. They started scoring. We started fouling more. Or they called fouls more. But we down there getting banged up. I busted. I busted my lip last night because they want to foul. I busted my lip last night because they want to foul. I was annoyed, bro. I was so annoyed. Um, but we do we we end up winning. I didn't want to say that too early in the story, but to put it into context, um, I look at that game last night how I look at life. You know, you will be tested. You will be tested. Everybody's not going to be on your side. The refs were not on our side. The game ended up going into overtime. And, you know, we hit a, a last second shot. You know, they made a huge mistake about well, a big, huge travel. And the refs didn't want to call it. They weren't on our side. I've been saying that since first quarter when I picked up 3,000 in the first half. 3,000 in the first half. And the refs still calling like little touch fouls while I'm down there getting banged up. My lip. My lip is busted, bro. But they didn't call a foul on them. You know what I mean? So, um, and the entire team was like that. So I realized, you know, um, and I knew this my whole life playing basketball, high school, you know, um, two years of JUCO, college. Um, everybody's not going to be on your side. And in the game of basketball, in any game, any sport you play, you want to beat them so bad the refs can't touch it. You want to beat them so bad the refs can't touch you. You know what I mean? You want to beat them so bad. Anything the refs do is not affecting the game because they're getting blown out. And that's how we we take that mindset into um, the meeting that we had after the game last night. And we gonna, that's how we're going to play the rest of this season. You know, we have a couple of our shooters are off. They won't be off every game. You get what I'm saying? They won't be off every game. He'll make his shots. He'll make his shots. I'll make clutch rebounds. I'll keep getting boards how I'll be getting boards. But we we got this. We got this. Um but that the name of the game was, and the, the sentiment I want y'all to take from that is, you will go through a lot of things in life, right? And this is all wrapped up in a rec league basketball game. People won't be on your side. The rest went on our side. You will be tested. It was a tough game, a lot of physical game, a physical game, a high scoring game, really like neck and neck type game. And we went into overtime. So you'll be tested. You'll go through the ringer. But how bad do you want it? I want y'all to take that away from this. How bad do you want it? Because we wanted it. We scored. We did what we needed to do, and we ended up winning. We wanted it. But how bad do you want it? You know, you'll you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out as time goes on. You know, you'll be put through the ringer. You'll fight for you know um, what you want out of life, and it won't always be easy. And people won't always be on your side. But you got to get it out the mud and make it happen. So um, I'm going to the gym now. I record it because I'm I'm in literally in the middle of fucking nowhere. But I record my where I'm going, and um, I record where I'm going, and I'll see y'all when we get to the gym. Damn, did I bring this stick? I'll have to set my phone up somewhere. Crap. Well, I'm still home. I can go upstairs and get it. Okay, in this video, I'm going to attempt to cut my hair. I've been on TikTok. Ooh, I gotta get a brush. Hold on, let me go get a brush. Okay. So we have two brushes. Double side, firm, unfirm, hands and ashy, and real firm. So you start, I thought it was a bad idea. To give you guys a little bit of confidence in me, I've been cutting my hair for about maybe a month and a half, two months now. I, what I do is I go to the barber and I get a real cut and then I maintain that cut. But this also been like since homecoming time and homecoming was about the beginning of this month, like November 1st or something like that. So don't blame me, but I'm gonna try to get this. God. So we have a, they call this one a trimmer blade. 
And we have a T-Line blade. It's charged enough and it's working right now. But <sighs> wish me luck. This is gonna be me attempting to cut my hair. I just brushed it down. A little bit of thinning right here. It just means I'm getting old. I bought this off of Amazon for, I wanna say like $20. And basically it's like a three-sided mirror. You can't really get a good self-cut without a three-sided mirror. I don't care what nobody say. You know, I've been trying. I've been cutting my hair for maybe like two months now. And I try to touch it up, you know, what a friend told me. Um, touch it up every two days, three days. You get do a little cut at a time, but I've let my hair grow out too far now. I can't give it a little, little cut at a time. Um, but, you know, with anything you're doing in life, you'll get better at it if you just stick to it, stick with it. You learn different things. And what I've learned is I go too high up on the fade. So recently I've been starting to fade like up here. That's too high. I know that now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try to go lower on the fade. You'll see it when I start. But what I do is I hook this on the door. I, I cowboy it though. Because the other one was like $50 for that mirror. And I'm not paying $50 for that mirror when this one was 20 And it just didn't have the hook. Because I have a hook. So, ugh, let's cowboy it. All right. Let me take this down. You know, sponsorships on YouTube and all that. Even though I don't have none, I don't want nothing to hinder that. All right, let me move this up so you can see. Oh, my God. All right. So... Here's an example of what's going on. All right, so in this mirror, I can see everything. Here, I'll show you. I can see everything. I can see myself. I can see that. I can see that. What's up? Enough talking. So far, so good. That was only, that was only a two guard. I need to go down. So I use a one guard. Lord help me. Recently, and I say recently, I've been trying to be more self-sustaining. This is always a skill that I wanted to learn how to do. Let's cut my own hair. It's like that sense, a break. Um, I figured, you know, the sooner I can cut my own hair, the sooner I can be my own barber. Cause like when I have kids, I want to be able to cut their hair too. You know what I'm saying? So in order to do that, you know, I gotta get real with myself. I'm not gonna hold you. There is no method to this, like not one method. What I try to do is um keep it dark, but keep the sides kind of light. And I haven't been able to do the back. <coughs> Woo! I haven't been able to cut the back the way I want to cut it ever in the past two months that I've been doing this. But I have been getting better with lining it up in the front. And I have been getting better with touching up the sides. The back, I've struggled with. I might mess up. I might mess up the back, but, you know, it's hair. It grows back. And I'd rather cut it myself for the donut then it pays my $60 to cut my hair. Shout out to the barbers that keep it under 60. But if you if you charge 60 and get it 60 for it, you know, kudos to you. But we over here, we're gonna make it do what it do. All right. Also, the goal is to take it slow. Take it slow, keep it slow, and everything will be all right. I can't talk to y'all too much while I do this because if I mess up this line, y'all gonna clown me for weeks until it grow back out. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> All right, take a break. <laughs> oh. Here I am two hours later still cutting my hair. Two hours. The last time I cut myself, so I'm trying to
Ouch. I just cut myself. I just cut myself. That means it's time to stop. All right, I'll show you guys how this looks after the shower. Mm. I don't mind. This could be my standard cut. Fresh out the shower, lawn looking better, fade looking better. I will take it. 